So you recently dropped uh, Prelude, three song Prelude. Uh, tell me more about that. <clears throat> yeah, the, well, that's you mind. You mind? Oh. You, you you guys wanna? Oh yeah, fire absolutely. Fire up a, a luxury. A luxury. Is that Louis? Oh wow. Yes, Louis. Oh yeah. Oh, it's an honor. It's Louis. <clears throat> Gold pack. <clears throat> we'll get into it. Doing something right. Oh man. Can you light it? Yeah. Gotcha. So, um, yeah, basically, um, you know, um, basically, I've been working on a lot of things musically. Um, I know how it is for the fans. I don't, I don't mean to torture them. I don't mean to leave them. In 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 the dark, but you know, like I said, I had to go to that place alone, and it's 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 it was valuable lessons I learned in vulnerability, and sometimes you can't always tell people what's going on beforehand. You gotta just go do it and let them see it. And I don't, I don't believe in mistakes. I don't believe in coincidence. So I'm okay with myself. Like I'm, I'm all right, you know. And I, it's other people's sensitivities and insecurities that I have to deal with, right. not my own because I don't have them. Right. But um, I'm sorry that. My fans, they're, they're so sensitive, and I spoiled the shit out of them. You know, I gave them fucking 16 bodies of work. Name another artist that gave anybody 16 bodies of work. So, they get a little spoiled with me. And, um... Uh, you know, they, um... So... I did. I I wanted to put out something to put their minds at ease, and um, I hooked up with this producer, my boy Rodney Jones, cameraman. Um, we call him RJ, <clears throat> and Tub Young. You know, um, these are the homies. They're geniuses, and um, I also hooked up with um, Biscuit and Butter, and um. We just sat and made a couple records. Now, over the last two years, I've been making a gang of records, and I have some crazy shit that I'm about to drop. But I wanted to put out something just for now as a reward for those who have been real. Right. Not nagging, not whining, saying, hey, I know you're about to do something crazy if it's taking this long. So I put out the prelude. It's three songs. One song called Time. Um... Lately, I ain't really had time <laughs> for the fuck shit. No, I ain't got no time. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Whereas this a little bit more melodic, and I'm just really kind of just talking my, my shit, talking about time. You know, I let go of time. Right. And I know for people who are pained by the dimensions that they're trapped in, Time is a motherfucker. Right. You know? Right. Yes. But I went back in time. I don't even look the same. You know, I look 10 years younger. Right. Than I did when I, people don't even realize that. You got to go back and look at photos. <laughs> but, so I don't really believe in time like that no more. You know, I don't believe in wasting time at all. Trust right. me. Absolutely. But I can't waste something that doesn't exist. So right. I'm not going to waste time at all. I'm not going to waste talent, potential, none of that shit. Right. I agree with that. But, uh, so I put out a song called Time, About Time. You know, um, Mama said, take my time. They said, you've been gone too long. You wasting time. Hmm. Look at the two perspectives. Right. Mama said, hey, take your time. They said, hey, you've been gone too long. You wasting time. Right. Look at the perspective. So time is a perspective. Hello there. You see this shit? This nosy bitch. Apple, stop eavesdropping, Man. bitch. So anyway, 
you know, so um, it was just about the essence of how people see the span of their life. And I see myself as infinite. I see my energy as infinite. I know that energy existed before matter. Hmm. Therefore, anything you don't give energy don't matter. Right. You Bars. know what I'm saying? Bars. Bars. <laughs> and that's the type of shit that I'm on. That's where my mind is. Right. And I've been doing some incredible shit, you know. A lot of which that I'll be revealing later. But the music that you're going to get is the music that I've been making in these two years. The shit you'll get after this right. is the shit I'm on now. You'll never catch up to me. Mm. And it's okay. I just had to make that a consistent thing that I'm okay with. Right. So I had to wait two years to get you caught up just to be two years behind me. Mm. If that makes any sense. Absolutely. So what I'm about to drop after this shit I'm about to drop, I won't even speak on it. But just know it's incredible. So I have time. I have real ass shit. I gave my everything to niggas and got nothing in return. Ten years of being slept on. Never got my turn. Took two years off and said, fuck it, I got to learn. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I wonder why I was even fucking concerned. I got some real ass shit. Tell me about that. Tell me about that. that uh, it, it, it's just, it's real. It's organic. It's how it happens. I don't write. I go in the booth. I think of it, and I just do it. So that's what was on my mind. That's what was on my heart. RJ made the beat. Him and Tub went in on that. I just went in there and I just spoke my mind, spoke my heart. You know, I felt like I, I gave a lot. I've been giving a lot. Um, of course, I feel like I haven't received anywhere near enough or what I deserve or what I'm worth. Right. You know, but I don't take it as negativity. I take it as fuel. I take it as motivation. You know, I take it as a critical part of my journey, a crucial part of my journey. Indulge you not. So, um, that's just where I'm at with that. You know what I'm saying? Song is self explanatory. <coughs> just go check it out. Go check that out. Real ass shit. It's up on my SoundCloud, YouTube. And I've been doing a lot of organic shit. Just like SoundCloud, YouTube. Let the blogs just, pick it up. Right, absolutely. Not even giving it to the blogs like I used to and give it to motherfuckers with exclusive drops right, and all that. Right, right. Like I just been doing natural shit, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, it is what it is, man. Right, absolutely. And trust me, it's going to be what it's supposed to be. You got to just be okay with it. Right. You know, and um, this how I'm rocking. So I got real ass shit. I got time. And then I got safe place. Safe place is about where I've been. You know, they say you've been gone for a while. I've been in my safe place. You know what I'm saying? When you got style, you got to keep it in a safe place. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, I had a lot of people take, 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 take from me. Mm -hmm. So I just went into my safe place and created. Right, right. You know, where... You don't know what the fuck I'm doing because I ain't even previewing a whole bunch of shit no more. Them little clips is just enough. But when I drop now, I'm just going to drop. I'm just going to drop. Uh, you know, I'm not letting you see yeah. everything I got going on. You know, get a piece of it and yeah. keep it moving. Yeah. You know, it's just got to be that way. You know, As some shit is classified. You know, yeah. some shit is confidential. Some shit is presidential. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So you can't see everything and be around everything. Sometimes you got to be lucky enough to just be in the presence of it. Right. So that's how, I, that's how I'm rocking, man. Well, it's they just say straight there's like that. There's no better gift in the present. There's no Boom. better gift than my presence. Boom. Slip. You know what I'm saying? Slip. I guess that's how I got rap in its essence. You know, because you rap the presence mm. and that makes it a gift Ooh, that's the essence of a present yeah that's why yeah <laughs> this came but out. anyway um anyway yeah that's that nice. the prelude right on go get the prelude right now go get that shit <coughs> just go download it's free 
It's free. Three songs. It's some different little, you know, things going on. But you know, whatever it is, it's black excellence. So go check it out. Can I tell you my favorite? Oh sure. My, my, I didn't know my you had favorite. a favorite. My favorite is uh, R.A.S. <coughs> Real ass shit. Right. That that one's just that one hits you because I think as people we do have something in common and no matter what rock bottom or your lowest frequency that anybody hits in their lifetime, Word. it's like we all hit one. It seems like we all hit one. It's a and, fact. Um, we all do. We Take all share that. Resonate That's our common thread right. as humans. We all share pain. For a long time, I didn't really share my pain like that. I wasn't as vulnerable as I could have been. Because where I'm from, vulnerability will get you killed. Mm. My father got murdered when I was 16. Mm. You feel me? And it did something to me. Yeah. It made me hard. You know? It is what it is. Um, I remember at the funeral, I seen my man in the box. And my world shattered. And uh, I walked out the funeral because, like, I couldn't handle it. It was too much. I never felt that much pain in my life. So I walked outside, and I just was, like, having a one-on-one -on -one with God. And I was just like, like, man, check it out. One or two things going to happen. Either I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be riding around with a fucking AK. And I'm going to be letting the world have my pain. <laughs> right. Or we're going to try to figure this thing out and I'm going to make something out of myself. So I had to make the decision that day. Because the what I felt in my heart, I knew wasn't good. Somebody took my man away from me. That was my pops. Like We was like best friends. So I felt like a nigga hit me where it hurt the most. Like, you took my dog. Like, nah, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas gotta die. Yeah. You took my dog from me. Like, you you took my best friend. You feel me? Absolutely. This man brought me into the world. Yeah. So, I was 16, bro. Yeah. It was on my heart like that. And I could have been a menace to society, bro. I low-key still can, but I never would. Now it's to build, it's to help. That's why I've been helping people all my career. That's why it, it's I've always been selfless. That's why I've never gotten what the fuck I deserve out of rap. Because I've rendered myself a fucking servant to everyone. But I'm okay with that. Because you can't truly be a king until you've been a servant. All these niggas doing all this shit. And I, and I, and I listen. I love my kind, I love the culture, I love hip hop, I love everything about this shit. I love the fucked up shit, right. I love whatever you think is good, I love it all. You know what I'm saying? I love the mess because I, I love being someone to clean up messes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, a true king is a true king. And it's levels. You got God level, you got regular shit. You got below, subnormal, subpar, mediocre. I don't even know where those things are. The coordinates of those things exist in, anymore. Right. I'm so far removed from that. Like I said, elevation, transcendence, you know, metaphysical growth, cognitive equity. Mm. That's the type of shit I'm on. Right. Manifestation. Absolutely. So, yeah, bro, I'm like... Nice. You know, I just I just landed in a good place and it's because of my journey and because of what I've been through. So I wasn't as vulnerable in my music early on because I still was holding on to not being hurt. Right. I was masking my pain. You know what I'm saying? But when I did shit like fall for your type mm -hmm. 
And certain songs I see people say That's what we want from you I gotta keep it a beam with y'all I never could have been Drake I never could have been Anybody that was I, I never could have been Eminem Right You know what I'm saying Because You mean even, their industry plan No uh, No 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 I'm saying I never could have been the artist That just Poured all his feelings out I feel like oh, okay. Eminem Right Pulled all his feelings out Even though he pulled them out In a different way Okay It was more like Psychotic Right Drake also pours his feelings out Very emotional Which makes him as an artist A great artist For people to connect to That's a great Fucking artistic Attribute to have Right Now I'm more so In that space Where I can share You know right. But people are so selfish That They don't even want me To share The way I want to share they want me to share the way they want to to hear me share it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I'm understanding the dynamic of, you know, I guess when you put like Drake and Eminem together, you get like, you know, like DMX. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You get a person who is aggressive and emotional. You know, mm -hmm. I'll be more like a DMX. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll be more like... You know right, what I'm saying? Right, yeah, like, I like, 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 more like a Tupac. It's not taking it. Somebody yeah, who's yeah. aggressive right. and emotional, right. and sensitive at the same damn time. But, so you think but can't be sensitive because when you, when you, when you, when the world, the world preys on your sensitivities. Right. The world feasts on your emotions. Right. So I can't be those people emotionally outward. I'm thinking first, but I'm not afraid to connect emotionally. In, in the music And go deeper and deeper and deeper And create that that dope Project you know what I'm saying And uh Absolutely. You know I, f I feel like We also need to address The elephant in the room Which is like People saying I can't make a song hmm. Now I'm not gonna lie Don't really too much of shit bother me. But over the years, that's the shit that really got to me. People saying I can't make a song. I've seen people actually post, he can't make a song to save his life. <laughs> now, good thing I got my life in my own hands. Feel me? Um, let's just think about this now. <coughs> I have 16 projects. Endless songs on there that make people love me. The thing that I don't like about people is their limited capacity to comprehend is what they want to bestow upon you. Mm. Now, mind you, I'm nothing short of a genius, and that's not even by my own description. You know, people know me to be a genius. Right. People understand me to be in the, in the spectrum of what you would call genius. When people put this limited capacity to comprehend on me, it really constricts me and puts me in a tight space that I, I, I do not like. Right, right. So people say he can't make a song. So I say, well, what was war? Right. See, because I know what they mean. They want to say he can't make a hit song. Right. A Chris but, Brown type radio. Check this out. Because we're not even going to go there. Okay. They want to say he can't even make a hit song. Right? But this is the crazy thing. When I give you my alphabetic arsenal and arsenal arithmetic or actually right. attributes adding artistic apprenticeship absolutely an animal accurately articulate academic acrobatic attaching to apparatus. When I give you that, you're like, oh my God, you're the greatest. Right. <laughs> but when I give you some shit that got like a bounce to it and this you go no no don't ever change don't don't stop rapping backpack rap don't do this don't put auto tune on your on your songs don't 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 right, don't right. rap like don't don't bounce on your cadence and, and and so I'm like I'm damned if I do I'm damned if right, I don't right. right I'm like they don't want me to make trappy music or 
whatever the sound is, right? right. Not the content, but the sound, right? right? Yeah. They but want they me want... to. They want me to do this straight, just fifteen letter words. Right. You know, they want me to do pattern rap and do all these intricate forms of rhyme schemes, right? right? What you do. But then they say he can't make a song. Right. And the crazy thing is, I make songs with. 15 letter words right. crazy intricate right. pattern rhyme schemes Everything that they that's want. a song right, exactly but then you same people say he can't make a song because you're equating a song to another sound right. because there's more people in that spectrum right. that receive that music because it's easier to receive right. let's keep it a buck right now Absolutely. it's easier to receive the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout mm. Down came the rain right. and washed these niggas out. Right. Jumped in my whip and I let down my top. Hit up my jeweler and I bought me hella rocks. Right. Nigga, I could do that shit all day. You got me fucked up. Right. That shit is nothing. Right. And I will do that. Like, I'm not afraid to do that. You know why I'm not afraid to do that? You know why I'm not afraid to do that? Because you can. No, because I have a four year old. You understand me? Right. And everything is the itsy bitsy spider. Okay. Everything is the itsy bitsy spider. Right. You understand? I feel it. So when I had him, it it lightened up my life. It said, "Hey, look. Right. Look at the way you communicate with your child. Don't let someone else tell you how to communicate. Right. Because I can't use 15 letter words with my son and get good results. It showed me that I have to balance the message right. or I'm not a good messenger. It's not the recipient's fault if they didn't get the text. Right. It's the sender. Right. Oh, damn, I'm looking at my phone. It didn't even send. All right, well, stop calling me saying why not respond. It's your fault. So it's my fault. And I take that. But this time when I disseminate the message, you better receive it because it's getting there. Right. I'm not going to not let it get there. Right. You feel me? Absolutely. And that's just what it is. So I'm doing a lot of shit that I would have never done. And I'm not listening to people tell me what the fuck to do. Right. None of y'all going to wipe my ass or pay my rent. So you can't tell me nothing. Right. The day you decide to do those two things, go ahead. I'll take some advice. Right. But until then, I'm not listening to y'all tell me shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying I'm ignorant or not going to listen because I listen to my fans all the time. But the people that want to scrutinize and say this, that, and the third, nigga, war should have been nomi uh, Grammy nominated. Excuse me. I feel that strongly about that song. It was prophetic. It was deep. It was lyrical. It was a hip-hop fucking masterpiece. You feel me? It was. It was a hip-hop masterpiece. And it deserves that accolade. It does. It's that great. Not just because it's mine. If I would have heard that song from Kendrick, J. Cole, Wale, or any of the, the people that I think are great, great artists, right. I would have been like, oh my God, bro, my God, bro, you body that shit. The same way I give all them dudes props about anything that they do. Right. Where's my props? I saw Meek Mill tweet when I dropped War. He was like, yo, he felt that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he from that. You know, he knows, right? he knows. Right. he's from Philly. I'm from Baltimore. That's up the street from each other. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I actually know Meek from a little while back. So <clears throat> I know what he's from. Right. A Philly cat got me my first record deal. Wow. So I used to run around in Philly and all that too. So, so, so why do you think that the Grammys then don't? Why do you? Why do you? Oh think no, you I'm don't not talking that? about Grammys, bro. I mean, or at least that your, wasn't your the real. Your, that wasn't the message. The message wasn't the Grammys. I give a fuck less about not, the not, Grammys. Now listen to me. Okay. I could give a fuck less about the Grammys. What I'm saying is, equate that song as Grammy worthy right. status. Don't tell me I can't make a good song right. when I have a song that technically, absolutely, if by the right artist was released, it would have been Grammy nominated <laughs> at least. See. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, so so don't don't put me and can't make a a, a song right. in the same sentence. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I haven't made the conformist song of whatever whatever whatever. You know, but at the end of the day, I do so many things amazing. Right. It's like honestly, 
everybody was entertained with just hearing me rap. Right. Let's keep it a buck. Niggas was hearing me rap and was satisfied. Right. I never really had to even make a song. I could literally turn on a, a, a right. track, rap from the beginning to the end, and it was great. Everybody loved it. Right. So then when it came up about, oh, it's been all these years and it's this, it's like, oh, he can't make a song. You're just putting that on me? That's like you saying, I can't bowl or I can't do anything else you haven't seen me do. Right. Nigga, are you kidding me? Right. <clears throat> I can make songs in my sleep. <clears throat> I can make songs in my sleep. So that's where we at now. You know, I made a lot of songs, you know, and learned to balance. All this shit is a, man, all this shit is a skill set, man. Right. You know, and it, it takes a lot of work. So the two years was my way of putting that equity back into myself, putting that dedication back into my craft so my fans could get VVS quality diamonds. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, no diamond district. We going straight quality. Mm. You know, we go for brilliance, and that's just where I'm at right now. So yeah, long the fucking explanation, I but you get it. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. You got to man, and I know it's important <clears throat> to to connect to Absolutely. people. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to go into a cave and be like, man, fuck that. What they talking about? Nigga, just wait till I drop this shit. Then what they gonna say? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be B-O-M-D. Right. You know what that is? Mm -mm. Back on my dick. Boom. That's what that is. Boom. Yeah. So, it is what it is. Next. So, uh, yeah, next. <laughs> well, the moon is when out. Can we, uh, when can the fans expect this? Or They'll get it. You've been waiting this long. No need to rush the, uh, you know, the sweet potatoes now. Right. Let them motherfuckers marinate. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't eat potatoes, but you get it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sweet potatoes is like, they used to be one of my favorites, man. Nice. Just brought back memories. But Thanks, yeah. Thanksgiving shit or? Yeah, just like. all the time. Yeah, I don't like celebrate none of them holidays or nothing. Thanksgiving. Thanks for my ancestors for giving their fucking life. Yeah. <laughs> You speak, know what I'm saying? Speak to knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Speak to him. Yeah, shit get deep, man. Hey, shout out Colin Kaepernick too, man. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, take a knee for the homie one time. I'm taking a knee. You feel me? I'm taking a knee because you got to take a knee to take a stand. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that, man. I'm taking a knee because you stood for people that was murdered. You stood in the face of a country that for some reason just uses racism as a fucking narrative. You know what I'm saying? I don't right. get I don't fucking get it, even though I get it. Right. I just can't get it. You know, it's one of them things where, trust me, I understand, but I just can't get it, man. I just can't get it that it has to be this way, but hey, it is what it is. And we won't complain about what it is. You feel me? But that man stood up for every person that was ever treated unfairly or unjust or lost their lives to, you know, systemic oppression. You know what I mean? So Hey, shout out, shout out to that man. He lost his job. Everything. You know, millions. People trying to, you know, defamate his character. Right. You know, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not cool, man. So, yeah, I'm standing with the homie. I'm rocking with him. Period, point blank, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to go buy me a Kaepernick, a Kaepernick jersey and That's frame it. You right. know what I'm saying? Straight like that. That's oh, a hero. Yeah. He's a, he did some heroic shit. And I know everybody's trying to look down on him or undermine him because he is a football player. Right. Man, y'all got some fucking nerve. Name another person that jumped out the window for y'all in this fucking century Man. that even cared about y'all. All the bloodshed, all the people losing family, all the young men, young black men being murdered in the streets, murdering each other, getting murdered by cops. I mean, goddamn, something got to give. Shit. Look at what's happening right now. Y'all killing each other and you got the cops killing y'all. This shit is like, what the fuck, nigga? The fight is fixed. You got to do something. Something has to give. We got to get conscious and wake the fuck up, man. Straight like that. Straight up. What's Shout good? out Brandon Marshall, linebacker for the uh, Broncos, too. 
He was uh he took a kneel with with Colin that first I think the first or second. Hey man, night. shout out to all the people that are rebels, man. Uh, shout yeah, out man, all the these, rebels, man. All these young up. all these young new artists that are using their platforms to make a stand and say something positive. You know what I'm saying? You definitely not being judged, young man. You know what I'm saying? I got love for y'all. The real ones Everyone. Know. Yeah. I seen Yachty. We was at the uh at the Puff. Puff had a can't stop, won't stop. You know, shout out to P. Diddy for being a, a great motivator, inspirational uh, voice and, 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 and chairman. He's been the chairman of black motivation right. for the last fucking, what, 20 fucking years, man. Somebody bought it, man. I'm going out to the mall and buy him something. You know what I'm saying? Just because, I mean, he got everything, but that that's not, that's not what it means. It's about supporting what supports you. That's consciousness, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, we got to start rallying for one another. You know what I mean? And all you young artists, I, I saw I saw Yachty at the at the at the um, Can't Stop Won't Stop movie, which was super motivational. I saw him, and you know, I don't even know if he would remember or not, because you know, his life is exciting right now. And uh, but I wanted to make it my point to walk up to him and tell him that I got nothing but love for him, and that I I I, I love everything about what he's doing. You know, when I see a young black man as successful as he is at that age, I can't be nothing but happy. I I couldn't even begin to get into his content because, damn, you did the unthinkable first. At least let me appreciate that first. All right. You know what I'm saying? Let me appreciate that first. Right. So at least I could have a foundation to even think I could implement right. or, or, or interject Advisor. You know, right. things into your life. Absolutely. Like, what, like <clears throat> I live this life. What gives you the right to feel like you're obligated to dive into it just because I'm a public figure? Right. So, I wanted just to let him know, like, yo, it's love, man. I fucks with your shit. And guess what? I'm one of the most extreme lyrical motherfuckers that ever breathed. You feel me? Right. That's period, point blank. I fucking right. admire what you're doing, no matter what anyone else thinks. And I know it probably just came off as like, what? Who the fuck is this nigga? You know what I'm saying? Because I know, but that's the risk you take being vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? But Absolutely. I had to let him know. Cause that's how I feel. Right, right. For the Uzis, the Yachtis. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? XXX. All these kids, man. These is kids, man. Right. I, I've been in with Designer, and we real good friends now. But when I got in with Designer, he was 19. Damn. He probably only 20 now. He's a. That's a kid. You feel me? That's a fucking kid, bro. And at the end of the day, even though he a grown ass man, I'm not trying to call you a child, bro. <laughs> That's my bro. Right, but right, right. I'm saying like, in essence, you are a child in life. Right, right. Because 19 years is just like, your flower hasn't even budded yet. How can someone look at the beginning stages of the, 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 the caterpillar and, and, and judge it? Right. Not even knowing that nigga, I'm about to shed this whole shit and fly. Right, yeah. The fuck is you talking about? What were any of you niggas doing at 19? Right. Being a complete fucking idiot. So stop acting like you had it together and you had it all figured out and these 19 year olds are supposed to save the fucking world. Or save hip hop or whatever the fuck you think. Right. Let them speak the language that they speak and let them t translate the message that's in their hearts. Cause that's what's real You feel what I'm saying You know what I'm saying Uzi said all my friends are dead Push me to the edge I don't think niggas is listening right. There's a deeper message in that music It's What do you think He just Everything is just Nah he's just happy with himself right. That's why he's not wigging out on y'all For getting on his fucking nerves so much I couldn't take that type of scrutiny right. You know what I'm saying But Yeah so I got big love I got big love for all the young ones in this game. I got big, big, big love. I just got off the I just got off the phone with Lil B. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Lil B. I just got finished visiting Juicy J. Shout out Juicy. You see where I'm going? 
Look at those styles. Right. Look at how those styles influenced a lot of things that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In different generations too, so. You feel me? It's a wide range, yeah. That's I was fortunate enough to go do a song with Chris Brown. Mm. I mean, if you ask me, all the despised and rejected people are the greatest motherfuckers on the planet. Right. They despised and rejected Michael Jackson. Mm. They despised and rejected Martin Luther King. Right. Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? Right. They despised and rejected me. It's all good. So let that let that be your motivation to continue to be great. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what the question was. Man. I, I just I just went. No question, I just it, it, hey, cause mm -hmm. don't there's nothing's in question. Right. Everything is everything is Organic. understood. Look at AP showing up to the party. AP showing up to the party. Bad Rouge what in this bitch, BR. Yeah, yeah. Wow. What's out? Shit, I'm yeah. Hot. Yeah, we just, hey, we just rooftop chilling. Man, I feel it. You want to get into a little something? You know, it don't matter. We could talk about it. We can get into some shit. Uh, yeah, man. Let's just get into some shit. How you, how you, you wanna speak, uh, speak on the power of words. Put the beat on and let's, let me do it. All right.